National Shrine of Our Lady of La Leche, Mission Nombre de Dios, America's First Marian Shrine, whatever that means. I guess we should check it out. So somewhere there should be Fountain of Youth, which is one of the two things that the Spanish explorers were looking for, gold and Fountain of Youth. And they did find gold, but not fountain of youth, at least not a working one. But the fountain of youth that they thought was functioning, working for them, is somewhere here in this garden. I just need to find it. And if not, I hope I'll be like Spanish. At least I will find some gold. We will see. Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park where legend meets history. There is a lot of Spanish footprints all over the Florida. 1565 Spanish Admiral Pedro Mendez de Aviles established the first successful European colony. Smoked Southern Barbecue. Uh, I don't think so. Tickets and entrance. Yeah. That's more like it. But that barbecue smells awfully good. Well, we will see later. 15 open air acres. Drink from the fountain of youth. Yeah, better than some soda. That's why. Okay, the fountain well, of youth. Thank you. It's at the bottom of the stairs, folks, and we've got some cups set up for you. Let me make very sure good. we got plenty. Let me ask you a very important question. Does it work? If that, yes, yes, if you believe. Uh, oh, that's a small want. problem. Yeah, you, you have to what? believe. It is mineral water. Okay. There's over 30 okay. different minerals in it, and it's alkaline, so it's good for you. Okay. Thank you. Let's go for it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Let's have a sip. Is that a camera? Yes. Archaeological dig site. See what the past has left behind. Gold and silver Spanish coins, Indian arrowhead, shark teeth, fishbone, and gold and silver Spanish coins. Okay, so who is this? The statue of and my guess is it's Ponce de Leon, the explorer who was looking for gold and fountain of youth. Uh, yeah, of course it is. Juan Ponce de Leon, born in Spain 1460. Do not enter. Okay, what is the hut about? Ah, oh, historic weapons presentation. Showtime. Every 30 minutes. Hello. How are you doing? Doing okay, how are you doing? Doing well. Shooting. I'll be starting in about five minutes. Oh, excellent, thank you. On March 3rd, Anno Domini 1513, Don Juan Ponce de Leon set sail from Puerto Rico in search of Bimini and the Fountain of Youth. On Easter Sunday, March 27, he sighted this land and named it Florida. 
Welcome, step ashore to the Native American village of Saloy, site of the oldest continuously occupied European settlement, St. Augustine, America's first colony. Yeah, it is. Historic weapons presentations. Well, let's have a look. Take your scouring stick and run everything down. Make sure it's nice and seated. Return your scouring stick. Catch your gun about. Blow off and loose powder. Take your match. Blow on it. By blowing on the match, you're removing the ash. It's supposed to be the hottest part of the coals. I'm going to give three commands. Prepare it. Fulton, Wigger, ready, aim, fire. Cover your ears. Prepare it. A good soldier can fire one shot every 45 seconds. You're required to fire a shot every minute. Can I answer any questions? I want to thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day and I hope you had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a replica of the watchtower when they settled this piece of land here and they were watching who's coming I guess nowadays they have some demonstration and explanations here lock and tackle one of the most important tools on board ship and in the 1565 Menendez settlement Used for loading and unloading. And you can learn how to do the knots so you can be a sailor in the 15th, 16th centuries. Okay, so what is this exhibition? Ah, blacksmith. Hello. How are you doing? Doing okay. Uh, How are you doing? About 15 minutes after the cannon. The cannon is happening at this very moment, directly across the field, just right at the watchtower. Thank you so much. Dugout canoe, Indian canoe, I guess. And a little alligator head. Let's have a little visit here. Not bad. Another replica of an Indian hut. looks very nice I wouldn't mind to sleep there instead of in a tent for example made from palm tree leaves so the trip is over I just sat down on the bench and this peacock came 
to look at me. Anyway, I hope to like today's video and see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.